You know, we say this time and time again that we are all in this together. And tonight, yet another example of how a community grassroots effort is really helping during this pandemic. And just the last week, a Jacksonville woman and her family have rallied to make about 1,200 face masks for local hospitals. And as On Your Side, Jeff Fallon explains, she's drawing on the collective efforts and the talents of hundreds of people who she's never met. Well, hi there. Kimberly Walton tells me that 40 face masks can be made from one bed sheet just like this, new or used. She's not stopping there, though. Watch how she is putting strength into numbers much bigger than that. So it really could help. We could really make a difference. It might look like a lemonade stand, but Kimberly Walton and family are collecting bed sheets to make coronavirus face masks to extend the useful life of N95 masks at hospitals. Cover so that it will prevent the disease from coming onto the N95 itself. She began graffiti with gratitude less than a week ago after she reached out to her former employer, Ascension St. Vincent's, which said yes to the need. And I knew that I was going to need to engage the community in a lot of help. Setting up this exchange station along San Pablo Road between Atlantic and Beach Boulevards in Jacksonville, where anyone can donate supplies or pick up materials and pitch in their skills. Are you cutting or sewing? I have some who's going to... Perfect. There are templates available at the exchange location, or you can download them and print them out on our website. GraffitiWGratitude.com, offering full instructions for anyone, including novices, who want to help. If you have little people at home that want to just help cut out the template. The response and participation so far, in a word, immense. So a little over 600 people there, and the total number of masks in production I believe it to be somewhere around 1,200. Agreeing that imitation could be the most hygienic form of flattery, it's an idea Kimberly hopes to spread to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Please, please follow this example. Reach out to me. Let me know how I can help you. For those who wish to donate money instead, Graffiti with Gratitude is partnering with Rethreaded. That's a nonprofit that helps survivors of human trafficking. A link to all that on its website, graffitiwgratitude.com. For all that information, as well as where to find that exchange station on San Pablo, go to this story at firstcoastnews.com. Jeff Vallon, First Coast News, on your side.